welcome to another episode of Today with Audrey K. Today we have two special guests because, as you know, all of our guests are special, and that's why they're on Today with Audrey K. Today we have with us two vocalists, premier vocalists. You all are going to be so entertained and so excited when you see these two. First of all, we have Miss Lady Patisse. And we also have Mr. Tyrone Butts. And I know some of you out there, you have had to see them someplace because they do a lot of gigs around town and they are very well known. So look them up on Facebook, what's the other? YouTube, and maybe you'll be able to find them. But you should remember the names Lady Patisse and Tyrone Butts. Okay, let's get right down to our interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll start with you, Lady Patisse. Where did you get that name? Uh, Lady Patisse actually um, came from a young lady um, that I was working with last year, her and her husband, and uh, she couldn't get my name right. Well, why do you think it uh, stuck? It, I don't know why, but... And she's then, such a lady. Yes, <laughs> and uh, it stuck with me, so mm -hmm. I said, you know, I'm going to stick with that name. Okay. And what kind of uh, music do you sing? Well, I sing, actually, I started off singing gospel, mm -hmm. and of course, I sing R&B, blues, a little bit of jazz, so I know a little bit about classical as well. So it's just like, even rock and roll, so I know a little bit about rock, too. Mm -hmm. So I had a chance to just touch different areas of music. Mm -hmm. So do you have a preference? Not exactly. Did uh, you get flack from going to, going from gospel to R&B, because I know you do blues. Mm -hmm. And did you get any flack for that? I say some people understand and some people have their own opinion about that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I believe that um, when you're called to do something, you know, you have to step out on that calling and that's what I did. Because okay. a lot of people believe that whatever you call to do, it's like it, it's, it's got to be, which makes no sense if it's just only in the church, because then how can you reach the people that aren't in the church? Exactly. Yeah. But I know, Tyrone, you have a lot of experiences in the church. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I started out um, in my family group. Uh, we traveled uh, around the city. Mm -hmm. Also, we also had the opportunity to travel throughout the states uh, with my brother, Pastor Walter J. Butt who's known affectionately as the big man of gospel music. Big man of gospel yes. music. <laughs> So I was a featured artist on one of the CDs that uh, my brother has and, uh, and on a song entitled We Need Love, which I co-wrote and uh, executive produced. Yeah. And actually, ladies and gentlemen, um, Tyrone Butts, he's actually a featured um, artist in the play A Fiery Destination. So he has so generously, because he's a extremely talented young man I mean just extremely talented so we're just so fortunate and so lucky that he came came on board he's such an asset to a, to our play as a matter of fact if you want to know more about our play you can go to our website at www.intothelightsite.com slash calm c-a-w-w-m productions and you can see uh, the whole cast on the website so please visit us. And back to you, Tyrone. So what was your family group? Did you all have a name? Well, uh, we were called the uh, the Butt Singers. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, that's interesting. Yes. <laughs> yes. Some people would run away from that name, yes. you know? <laughs> of course. We, we've gotten all the funny jokes and things coming up, you know, oh, with the name. But that's so yes. cool. You got yes. stuck with it. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Now, I want to, you had a situation where you lost your voice for a minute. Yes, I had to come off the road, actually, oh, wow. for a no number of years. And I uh, couldn't perform uh, as a singer or an actor. What was that like? Did you feel, did you feel like, I well, mean, how, what was that like? Something is, you feel is your calling. Mm -hmm. And I, God, I believe, put me here to, to mentor and, to, and to, to share this voice and things with, with others through song and through, through the written word. And, and I've been doing this since 
I, my early age. I did my first uh, play when I was five or six years old. Oh. And I remember today it was five or six. to be young, gifted, and black. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Yes. And who did you get to be in it? Did you force your brothers <laughs> and sisters to be in the play? Well, <laughs> actually, um, they all started uh, getting into plays and things after I, I went on this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, my other sister, uh, younger sister Cynthia, mm -hmm. began to do this as well. Oh, wow. Yes. So it's like a family affair. Yes. Okay. So, Patrice, I know you started singing at a young age also, but mm -hmm. you used to sing like in the bathroom. Uh, you wouldn't do <laughs> 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 You wouldn't come out and, 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 and let people know that you could sing. Tell us about that. Why did you do that? And how were you at that time? Well, I Because you're out the bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ladies and gentlemen, actually, <laughs> she has a, when she's warming up, it's like she stays in the bathroom. Where is Lady Patisse? She's in the bathroom warming up. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your bathroom experience. My bathroom spirit actually started at my grandmother's house because she, you know, I come from a pretty large family. And my grandma, um, my, my mom had five, mm -hmm. and then my uncle had five. So we all was, back in the day, everyone stayed with grandma. Yeah. Oh, so, you know, so uh, my practice room mm -hmm. was actually the bathroom, mm -hmm. you know. That echo. That yes. You, yeah. you, you sound like you used to do that. So much better, yes. yes. Did you used to do that too? All the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I can't, can't yeah. sing. I should have been in the, <laughs> <laughs> I should have been in the bathroom. <laughs> if you all go to the bathroom, because they, <laughs> You'll see, you'll see later on in the show. Mm -hmm. But you, that's what you said, you used to go to the bathroom. Yes, and there was one funny experience. How many I bathrooms had. did you have? It was two. Okay, one in the basement, one upstairs. One funny experience I had was, um, you know, the, the, um, the bathroom mirror that slides. Mm -hmm. And um, I ended up hitting a real high note, and I cracked my yeah, grandmother's right. did you mirror. Really? And I thought I was in trouble, but she's like, oh, praise the Lord, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She can oh, wow. sing, but I wasn't in trouble or nothing. Uh -huh. But, you know, my family has, from the very start, I have always supported in what I did. Uh, my mother, my grandma, everyone, you know, has always shown me that love and support, and I appreciate it. And friends, mm -hmm. um, I just appreciate God putting, you know, these people in my life, because they are especially uh, a part of me. Now, so, did your yeah. mother and, and father sing, or was it just the... How many of you were, what is it? Oh, it's uh, 11 in my family. You got you beat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's 11. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, you mm -hmm. know what? That's just like the Jackson 5. Uh, <laughs> how they mm -hmm. had people, that do, do they play different instruments, or are you all singers, vocalists? Well, only my brother really plays instruments. I've dabbled into playing piano for a while mm -hmm. and things. I'm not as good as you know he is. Now did you all used to play church because there was a lot? Oh there. well we, we've done that as well. <laughs> yeah, when you were little you played you know, church. We, I would sit and watch him you know go through his routines and things when he felt this he had this call to becoming a minister. This is Walter and right? This is Walter. Pastor Bush. Pastor yes. Walter. I, d I didn't understand it you know early in my early age. I used to see him doing it and then not knowing this was his anointing, this was his calling. Mm -hmm. And we just thought, I'm like, you know, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I just couldn't get with it. We were both young men, you know. Uh -huh. I'm thinking we'll go out, you know, chasing the ladies and things, and I'll see him, <laughs> you know, hooping and, and going through his thing. It was, it was, it, and then after a while, it became natural, and, and, and I see it was something there. And it was something different. Where's your brother's church? Uh, 5145 uh, on, on Damon. 50, yes. 5145 Damon. Yeah, yes. So you all should come by there because yes. his brother, he practiced preaching before. He yeah. even knew what was happening. Yes. Right? Yes. So did you ever feel like you were called to preach? Well, I, I minister in the river. I've always been a mentor. Okay. And I've always uh, been out there on, on the street mm -hmm. level. And, 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 and I've always been a giver. And I just see people and, and just something about them that draws me to them. And, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I meet their needs in that way. Mm, okay. Yes. I got a question for you both and, um, you know, whoever wants to go first can. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about yourself? No, what's your favorite thing about me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite thing about yourself? And then we're going to hear you all sing. Oh, well, that's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. I say um, it's kind of hard to say because it's, it's 
it's so many things about me that I can say I like. Okay. As much as so Pick many one. things I don't like, but <laughs> we'll stick with the like. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I just like um, the growth that I'm having in my life. Oh, I'm wow. learning um, things that um, I've been wanting to learn and now I have a chance to do so. so and then growth. also the most important thing is, is my spiritual growth. Okay. So, you know, everything else will come in line with as you grow, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I, I have to say that. So your spiritual growth, that's good. Okay, top that. Yes, no, I'm I, just kidding. I think, <laughs> you know, more so that I took after my mother, and, and, and I'm a giver. Okay. And I think it's important that we have people in the world that, that are like that mm. because there are so many things that are happening, and I'm – Usually there's just God just put it on my heart and I can see someone mm. and I have that just uh, the sermon and I can go and speak a word mm. and a sense of peace oh, wow. to whatever that need is. That's beautiful. And, I, and I've always uh, been able to, to, to do that. Well, you know, one thing I noticed, and then we're going to get you all on, but one thing I noticed is that, you know, your anointing, the thing that yeah. you love about yourself, a lot of times that does come under attack. So yeah. it's, it's, it's very important for you to um, 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 protect your heart and, and be a good steward mm -hmm. over it, like you're a giver. Yeah. And, then, and that just opens doors for people to try and take advantage of you. Of course. You know, and you and your spiritual go growth. So that just opens doors for people to say, well, you know, you're not all of that. So I just wanted to put that out there. But right now, I'm so excited to hear you guys sing. Um, up first, we're going to have um, Lady Petite. Yes. Lady Pat <laughs> Lady Patisse. Yes.
I see trees of green, red roses too. I watch them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Mm. 